Hey guys, okay, so some of you are going to kill me because it's taken me so long to do this review. Um, and I actually forgot about it until today when I was organizing my products and I was like, I saw these and I was like, oh my god, I have not done a review yet and people are going to kill me. Um, I'm sorry it's taken me so long, but it's here. Um, and it is on the Camille Rose, their new line, their coconut water line. Um, I got both of these back um, in April at the World Natural Hair Show. Um, these were the two new products that they introduced and this is the um, coconut water leave-in hair treatment. It is an 8 fluid ounce bottle. And this is what it looks like if my camera will focus correctly. There we go. That's a little bit better. So that's what that looks like. Um, and then the other thing I got is the coconut water penetrating hair treatment and it looks like this. And this is a 8 ounce container as well. I wish this was a bigger container. I wish this was like a 12 ounce container. Um, and then at the bottom here it says it's a concentrated rinse out conditioner for silky soft hair. And that kind of tripped me up a little bit because I was like, wait a minute, if this is a hair treatment, why are they saying in the next sentence it's a rinse out? Um, but I'll get to that in a minute. So, first things first, the leave-in hair treatment. Um, I'll leave the ingredients on the screen because it's a relatively long list. The smell, it's, it's not a coconutty smell. I don't know what this is because they both smell alike. It's like a... Fruity, like I guess I can pick up a little bit of coconut, but it's like a fruity kind of smell. I don't know what I'm smelling in here that I can't pick up on. I don't know. It's not horrible. It's not overpowering. Kind of sweet. Um, it's just a weird. I don't know yeah, why. Yeah, the I can't consistency pick on the smell. is. If I can get it out for you guys. It's a nice, light, creamy consistency. Um, it does remind me a little bit of their um, hair milk, but it's a, it has a lot more slip to it. Um, it's not as thick as their hair milk, so it is a little bit lighter. Um, but the slip on this, you guys see how there's like just slippery, slippery. Um, the, it is a lot lighter, but the slip is amazing. I've used this as a, like I said, a leave-in conditioner. Um, it's a nice, light leave-in. I wish it was like... A tad bit thicker I wish they would put the slip that this has into the moisture milk um, and the moisture milk will be perfect for me but if the moisture milk you tried sorry I'm putting it in my hair because um, I don't want to waste it um if you tried their moisture milk and it was a little bit too thick for you or didn't have enough slip for you try this and you probably would like it um, I wish it had like a little bit more like emollients to it more moisture to it something um, it's not bad. It's definitely great for spring and summertime, especially if you like your hair not to be weighed down and light and fluffy and airy. Um, but I definitely wouldn't be using this in the winter, basically fall and winter months because it doesn't have enough like emollients or moisture for me. Um, but it's definitely nice as a spring summer item leave in. Um, gets along with most gels for me. I don't really have any issues with it. It goes on my hair really slippery and nice, so I have no issues kind of distributing it on my hair. Um, and that's all I pretty much have to say about this. I probably won't be repurchasing it again. I mean, I don't know. If if it was on really, really good sale, I probably would, but I mean, I don't, I don't need it, basically. Um, my PJ would just want this if it was on super sale. But um, yeah, that's the leave-in treatment. So, my favorite... My favorite is the deep conditioner. I call it deep conditioner. Down here it says rinse out. I don't know. Um, so basically there is, just to give you guys a head up, heads up, again, I will put ingredients on screen or somewhere so you can see them. But I do want to make you aware that down here at the bottom, right here, there is some hydrolyzed keratin. So if you're protein sensitive, um, if you know your hair doesn't like hydrolyzed keratin, etc., etc., be aware. Um, it is at the bottom of the list, so it's relatively light. Um, I'll show you guys the consistency of this. I was actually surprised when I opened this up how thick it was. So this is super duper thick. Super duper thick. I've used this about three times. It distributes on my hair 
really really nicely you don't need a lot um it just is super thick and emollient has great slip going on the hair but as you can see i was like you can i can hold this upside down it's not going anywhere not going anywhere um and this is this is what it looks like really really thick and creamy um it is thicker if you just want something to go by it is thicker than their moisture butter it is thicker than their other deep conditioner the aloe deep conditioner it's this is probably the thickest product that they have which i was really surprised by but it's super moisturizing really emollient you definitely get when you rinse this out you definitely feel your hair moisturized um basically put this on with a heating cap about an hour that's my deep conditioning routine um rinse it out as far as like if you like to detangle with this, if you like to detangle with your deep conditioners, it does have nice slip to it. I wish it had a little bit more slip, um, but again, I de detangle my hair before I put on my deep conditioner, so it's not an issue for me. Um, but for those of you who do like to deep or detangle your hair after you deep condition, I could see you wanting a little bit more slip. It's not a big deal, but just to put that out there. Um, after I rinse this out, my hair feels really soft, but it feels balanced. So I definitely consider this as kind of like a moderate, a light to moderate protein treatment for me. Um, I probably could use this every week and not have a problem. If you are protein sensitive, again, you may have a problem using this on a consistent basis. You may only want to use it once a month or so on. Um, but this is really, really nice. Again, I wish it was 12 ounces. Um, but I've used this three times and I, I still have a lot so I mean you don't need a lot like I said it goes a long way this jar will last me probably for about three or four more uses I think um really 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 great stuff Camille Rose Camille Rose I'm talking to you okay if you change this I will riot okay I will have a conniption and somebody's gonna have to come lock me up because let me calm down we all know, for whatever reason, Camille Rose likes to change the ingredients of their stuff. Please, for the love of everything, do not change the ingredients of this. This is, this is awesome. This is the best Camille Rose product in addition to the moisture butter. And I mean, the moisture butter, two ingredients changes ago. This is, this is awesome. You have renewed my faith in you. Please do not change this. Um, definitely repurchase when it goes on sale. I am stocking up. Um, out of these two, which I will purchase, it's this. This is awesome. Um, wish I would have gotten to it at the hair show because Miss Candy Mish, she told me ahead of time, she said she really, really liked this stuff. And I bought it. And then at the end of the day, I was like, you know what? I just have a feeling I need to go back and get it. Another one. And they were all sold out. They were, Camille Rose was cleaned out. Um, so I didn't get a chance to get a second one of these, but I'm definitely going to stock them, um, and hopefully they have a sale soon. I know these are not available in Target. I believe they're going to be available online at Target.com soon, according to Camille Rose's website. You can get this on Camille Rose's website. You can, I believe, get this from Avu. You can get this from Curl Mart. So there are ways to get this. Unfortunately, it's just not on the ground yet. Um, so yeah, coconut waterline, pretty decent, really renewed my face in Camille Rose, so hopefully they won't change the ingredients. Um, but yeah, that's it you guys, thank you so much for watching, if you have any other questions or comments, please leave them down, please leave them down below in the comments bar, <laughs> um, and I will see you guys in my next video.